Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal, and they take on Saudi Arabia. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And a look at the starting lineup for Saudi Arabia. Well, it's a flat 4 5 1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And this confrontation is underway. He might be able to profit from the wide position. He's in behind. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. So, underway again here. 1-0 to score. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Salman Al-Faraj. Saleh al Shekhvi Running with the ball confidently. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So back underway following the equaliser. Really good attacking play. Could take the lead. Oh, it's a goal! And that gives them the advantage. Will they be able to keep it? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Yeah. 
Saleh al Shekhri. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Can't miss, surely! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Played over, not away completely. Bruno Fernandes, on to Silva. Could go ahead, and he's fired it against the post. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Al Shekhri. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Counter attacking, very much an option. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Hatan Bahebri. Can they make one of these passes count? Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Joao Felix. Salem Aldossari. Here's Aldossari. Al Shekhri looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity and they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Could be threatening. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Hatan Bahebri. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, great defending. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Can he play it in? Ronaldo? Can he give them the lead? Oh my goodness, he's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class, fantastic technique!
Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. So it is, the first half story has been written. So into the second half here, Portugal with the advantage, but absolutely no room for complacency. Fernandes, he's protecting it well. Joao Felix. Chance to play it in. And Bernardo Silva has it. Can they convert? And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Scoreline 4 2. Salman Al Faraj. Moving it forward. Could be. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Portugal had more of the possession, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. Favouring the short one. Ronaldo. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So the action underway again here, with Portugal very much in control. Bahebri. Al Shefbi. Salman Al Faraj. Can he make it count? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Oh, 
Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Bruno Fernandes Otavio now and Portugal moving the ball with purpose but quick thinking defensively Saleh al Shekhvi. here's al -Dossari. and slipped through beautifully can he get one back Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Cristiano Ronaldo really getting stuck in. That's useful play. A really effective shielding under pressure. the end of that move for now and he's got the beating of his opponent can he finish them off well he stumped it out of there without much fuss five minutes remaining and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close can they fashion something? They need a goal. It has to be! That's a great stop. What a dramatic finish. Fantastic save there. Now the delivery, and it still could be dangerous. A very timely interception. Cristiano Ronaldo. There will be. He's in with a chance. He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. Salman Al Faraj. And reading it absolutely superbly. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. the world champions and this is finally Portugal's time fully deserved best team in the world 
Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.